thing's actually pretty quick. This is the e-bike that I put together. It was the Fuji hybrid that I converted to a gravel bike. And then I bought the L Faster 450 watt, 36 volt e-bike kit. And I'm using a high long 36 volt, eight amp hour battery. And we're gonna take it out for a spin today to do a top speed test and a uh, distance range test. If you wanna see how I put it together, you can check out my last video. So now I'm gonna try to ride this thing for at least 12 miles uh, with no pedal assist. If it makes it past 12 miles, I'm gonna consider that a success. I'm also gonna try to go over 22 miles an hour on flat ground um, and just for shit, so we're gonna we're gonna see if it goes 30 miles an hour downhill, no assist. Let's go. Things actually pretty quick, smooth, easy ride. Running out of sidewalk here, so I'm gonna cut it off over here. We're about six miles away, so I'm gonna turn around. That and the battery indicator under full throttle is already at red, so I don't feel like pedaling today. It's red. This thing's struggle busting home. I'm like seven and a half miles in hopefully i'll make it home i really don't feel like pedaling today almost eight miles in i'll be happy with 10 miles just uh just a quick update i'm about 10 miles into my ride and this thing's already in the red with or without the throttle on but still managing to pick up speed uh, like right now I'm going about 13 miles an hour and still going so I'm gonna ride this thing till it dies all right just got back from the 12 mile ride it made it the whole 12 miles though it was struggling going uphill the last two miles the motor did get eh, kind of warm uh, about what I expected the battery kind of warm but nothing unusual for an e-bike yeah, you can still touch this and I was uh no brake just 12 miles in a row uh no pedaling was able to do it all on its own though it was struggling the last two or three miles going uphill still did it on its own so I have no doubt that this thing could probably do 15 miles with um no hills or 16 miles and obviously more with pedal assist so I would say this is a uh, pretty successful e-bike kit. As far as top speed today, it actually didn't make too big of a difference whether or not it was flat land or downhill for some reason. Um, it was going maybe 24, 23, 24 going downhill, but on flat land, I re-measured it and I was able to hit 22 miles an hour. So not sure what that's about, but uphill um, depends on the incline obviously, but when it was fully charged, it would do about 12, 13 miles an hour going uphill, maybe five miles an hour on the last two miles. So keep that in mind. Um, so if your commute is less than 12 miles away, easy, one way. Overall, I'm pretty happy with the e-bike conversion, though I know for a fact it wasn't meant to work well with this frame since the motor I had to really modify the bracket to make it work all right with this frame just so the sprocket lines up straight but I was able to do it and I already put over 25 miles on this thing and nothing's come loose or 
broken. Uh, one of my gripes with it is when I have my foot on here, it comes really close to the motor when you're pedaling. That's simply the design of this bike. It just doesn't work well with this e-bike kit. So I just have to be careful not to clip the back of my foot. So just a warning if you have a similar type of frame. Um, the battery is very easy to, to charge. I put the charge port right here. So I just plug it to the wall and that's it. I was able to fit the controller and the battery in this tiny bag that came with the battery. So both these items cost me like 300, 320 bucks altogether. Uh, that's all I needed to convert this thing. So if you want to give it a shot, I do have the links in the description below uh, for where I got the battery and the e-bike kit. I do also have um, links for the other versions of the L-Faster e-bike kit, such as the 24 volt one and the throttle uh, drive one, if you want to have that version. I also have a link for the other battery by Hylong, the 12 amp hour, if you're looking for a longer range. If you found any of this information useful or helpful, make sure you smash that like button. And if you like this kind of content, want to follow some of my other projects, consider subscribing to my channel. But for today, this is going to be it. See you in the next video.